Hello guys. How are you doing? Happy 2019. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe it's mid-January 2019 already. It has just, last year flew by. Um, I don't know if it did for you, but it did for me, especially the second half of 2018. And um, January is flying by. My birthday was on Sunday, which was a really awesome day. Hey, Philip Stokey. And I just wanted to come on today because it's Walk the Talk Wednesday. It's the first Walk the Talk Wednesday of 2019. Yay! Getting back to, into the swing of that. We're going to be talking about thyroid health today. And I'm just going to be on here for 10 minutes or less because I want to put this on my IGTV and make it available for everyone to see later if they don't catch me live now. Um, welcome. It is Wednesday, January 16th, 2019. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we're almost through another decade. It's literally seems like yesterday it turned 2000. So anyway, I'm going to dive right in here. Um, thyroid health is one of the most important things that you should take into consideration when you're managing your health because from personal experience, I just, you know, you, you think that your thyroid is humming along and it is humming along until it's not. And when it's not, you just notice it right away. You may not know what's going on with your body. You may just think that you're tired and then you, you consume more caffeine. You may just feel like just a little off all the time. You may gain weight. You may notice your hair falling out some or your nails really brittle or um, you're just your mood is just really low and you may not notice you may not realize that it's a thyroid condition and you may not be diagnosed with a thyroid condition but if you have tangible things that you can do to be proactive about your thyroid health then you have a much 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 lesser chance to develop thyroid issues in the future so it's really important to consider these things when you're just going about your daily routine. So what is your thyroid? What does it do? Your thyroid is a little butter, butterfly gland in the front of your neck, which is right here. Um, I had mine removed. You can kind of see the scar there. And it's almost my 10 year anniversary. It's February 16th. So it'll be 10 years, February 16th that I had mine removed. And so I have personal knowledge and a personal journey that I've gone through since that time and I can tell you that it is not a piece of cake so if you if you um, anyway going back this is your this is where your thyroid is this is your gland that's right here and it regulates your metabolism it regulates hormones that go through your body zoom around your body and it brings life to other systems and processes in your body, especially the T3 hormone that goes through your cells and um, stays in your cells and then gets into other parts of your body and it makes your body work. Uh, it regulates your energy mood, it regulates, or your energy level, it regulates your mood, it regulates your blood pressure, it helps to support your skin health, your eye health, your nails, your nails and your hair your hair growth and your hair health. So, hey Margie, glad you could join me. So, these are just, you know, a handful of things that it does. So when your thyroid is in good standing and, in, and is being supported all the time, then you feel really good, you get good sleep, you have, uh, your mood is better, um, your outlook is better, you can get things done and you don't feel tired, so, um, what you can do now to support that gland and lessen the chances of having issues later, you can get exercise like walking, like yoga, weight bearing exercises that are not too heavy. You don't need to go heavy like, you know, CrossFit or something like that, but you can do weight bearing stuff. You can use a jump rope, you can do stairs, you can do go on hikes, things of that nature. Get your heart rate up, but you don't have to get it up too, too high. Just get daily exercise. Get 30 minutes or so of daily exercise to help just regulate your blood sugar, regulate your thyroid. Um, getting outdoors, also for me anyway, it helps to release 
that tension, that negative energy, those negative thoughts that can sometimes creep into your mind. Just getting fresh air just helps to clean those genes and just optimize your health. Um, make sure you get enough vitamin D3 and K2, and especially in the winter time, you should definitely take higher amounts of vitamin D. Um, I take a combo, it's a drop combo, that has vitamin D3 and K2 in it because K2 helps to metabolize the D3 and get into your body and utilize it much simpler. Uh, and I take between three and 5,000 IUs per day. And the days that I forget to take it, I just double up the next day because it's just really important to get enough vitamin D, especially when you're living in the Northern Hemisphere this time of year and the Northern, the nor northern Latitudes this time of year. Um, so make sure you get enough of that per day. Get restful sleep, um, at least six and a half hours, and at least half of that should be REM and deep sleep. Um, I have a Fitbit that I wear, you know, every day, and so it monitors my sleep, so I know how much REM and deep sleep I'm getting. And I can totally tell when I don't get enough REM and deep sleep combo, if I'm getting three hours or less per night, I just, I feel really sluggish the next day or that day, I feel just off. So getting that REM and deep sleep, and if you don't have a monitoring device to monitor those things, you can always just, just tap into yourself and when you wake up in the morning, do you feel refreshed? If you feel refreshed, then you probably got a good night's sleep and you got enough REM and deep sleep. If you're waking up in the middle of the night or you have slight insomnia, this could be an uh, indication that your adrenal glands are being taxed. Um, and that'll be another topic that I will go over another time because the thyroid and the adrenal glands go hand in hand in life. Um, um, reduce your stress, that's a huge one. Do not do the things that you think you should do because it will please others. Um, that there's a huge difference between doing things because it's the right thing to do and allowing people to dictate your schedule where it leaves you no time to do the things that you wanna do. And I have learned this over the years myself that um, to just walk through life allowing the world come at you and not be proactive about it and not just you know say no. It's, there's nothing wrong with saying no if you need to you need to, if you need to rest, if you need to take the time out, then do that, do that, absolutely. Um, so another thing you can do uh, that I do on a daily basis are oils as well, and oils is my jam, it's, that's my thing. So um, the oils that I like to use for thyroid health is uh, for one, frankincense, of course, is like the go-to king of oils. I've talked about this plenty, 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 and I will talk about this plenty more. So frankincense is great for overall health, reducing oxidative stress on your cells, brain support, cell support, stress relief, all those good things. Myrrh, which is very nourishing for your thyroid. Um, this is another one that you can use as well, and I'll talk about a combination that you can put together um, in a few minutes. Uh, there's basil. Basil is really good at regulating your thyroid. So if your thyroid is a little high or a little low, if you feel if you're feeling a little hypo, meaning you feel sort of revved up, not in a good way, or you feel hype, hyper, or you feel hypo. Sorry, if you feel hyper and you feel a little revved up, more in not a good way, or hypo thyroid when you're feeling lower or you're gaining weight and you don't know why, then basil is a really good oil to help regulate your thyroid um, so to get that more balanced, those more balanced levels. And then marjoram is a really good oil for anxious feelings, which, help, which helps to control those negative feelings of self-doubt, which can get your thyroid out of balance, can get your cortisol levels out of balance. So this is a good, good one for anxious feelings. And then clove is a really good one for metabolic support, which is crucial to, for um, metabolizing sugars and things of that nature. So it takes, you know, it takes a village to <laughs> raise a good thyroid, if you want to say that. And then lemongrass, which I thought that I had here, but I don't. I think it's in another bag of mine that isn't isn't in my within my reach. But lemongrass, um, if you feel 
if you, it's another good one along with basil. If you feel out of balance, lemongrass helps to bring your thyroid back into balance. And then what you can do is, see this little roller that I have here? You can uh, put 10 drops of each of these oils into the roller and then top it off with fractionated coconut oil or your whatever your favorite carrier oil is. I love fractionated coconut oil. That's the one I go to, but you can always use argan oil or um, olive oil or there's several other oils that you can use. And then top that, top this off with fractionated coconut oil and then just roll it. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna unzip this a little bit. So what you wanna do is roll it generally in the area where your thyroid sits and then also on the bottoms of your feet and do that once in the morning and once in the evening. It'll just, and then you can always, um, after you roll it on, you can just kind of rub it in. But it just really helps to support those, that gland and support those hor hormones that are, that are, you don't realize that they're there until they're out of whack. <laughs> and you don't want them to get out of whack, which is why I'm giving you tangible, um, stuff that you can do to help to alleviate a lot of um, a lot of those things that can creep into your life and and make you miserable so with that being said that's those are my tips for thyroid health each and each one of these are good on its own great on its own but if you put them together these oils then they're a powerhouse and you know it's just it's just that much better so of course i only use doTERRA oils those are the only oils that i trust and that i will ever use because of their purity because of their you know the way the company represents themselves and you know all of, all of those sorts of things so that's going to be it for me today it's just a short but sweet a little tangible one that i hope you um, get some good use out of and can bring happiness to your thyroid along with doing exercise and getting rest and reducing your stress. Use your oils. If you have any questions at all about these oils or anything else, just reach out to me. I'll put my link, um, my links in my bio for you on, on Instagram and then I'll put the link here on Facebook if you guys ever need to reach out. I'm here to help you get started with oils. I would love to be uh, guidance for you and just whatever whatever you need. So I hope you guys are having a good day, good Wednesday. This is Walk the Talk Wednesday, and I will talk to you later. All right, see you. Bye.